Agriculture provides great opportunities to boost development and improve the living standards of millions of people in rural Myanmar. Approximately 51.4 million people live in Myanmar, with more than a quarter of the population living below the national poverty line. Seventy percent of the inhabitants live in rural areas of the country where three-quarters of the entire population live in poverty. However, although it is the largest country in mainland Southeast Asia, Myanmar has one of the lowest population densities in the region. This characteristic, together with the advantage of having especially fertile land, offers the country great potential to increase agricultural production and, therefore, its benefits. The town of Pindaya itself is set on a pleasant lakeside and has a number of good hotels, including some set in colonial era buildings. Lake Pontalic is the glittering center of Pindaya. There are beautiful golden stupas on the shores of the lake. According to local legend, the term Pindaya is a corruption of the word Pinguya, which translates to, taken the spider, in Burmese. The name arose from the legend, that there was once a large spider, which resided in the caves, and it had captured a local princess. The princess was rescued, when the giant spider, was slain by a prince, using a bow and arrow. When the spider was killed, the prince was said to have exclaimed, that he had taken the spider, that is to kill it. Thus, the exclamation became the name of the region, and from it, Pindaya received its name. Pindaya Caves are a Buddhist pilgrimage site and a tourist attraction located on a limestone ridge 
in the Mylat region. The area is part of the ancestral homeland of the Danu people. There are three caves on the ridge, which runs north-south, but only the southern cave can be entered and explored. Cave can be entered and extends for about 150 meters along a well-worn path. It is known for its interior, which contains over 8,000 images of Buddha. Some of the older statues and images in the cave have inscriptions dating to the late 18th century or early Kanban period, and the earliest one dates from 1773. There may be some images without inscriptions that are older, but based on the style elements that it is believed that none of them is older than the early 18th century and even suggests 1750 as the earliest possible date. The collection as a whole forms an impressive display of Buddhist iconography and art from early Kanbong era to the modern period. No other place in Burma displays such a range of style, not only in the images, but also in the ornamental thrones and reardas, which surround the images. There are many legends surrounding the Pindaya cave. One is that a blocked off path at the end of the cave leads to the ancient city of Bagan. This is it from the Myanmar trip. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more Marco Locos travels.